Yo, what's up, MG fam? It's your boy, Coach McGruff. I'm back, back with a new series, this time on Madden 20. So what we're going to do in this series is rebuild the New York Jets. And I know you guys question why we choose the Jets. The reason we chose the Jets because I believe they have a great young core of talent here that's probably will be on a verge of, you know, competing at least in a year or two with the right draft picks and the right additions. Also, the Le'Veon Bell trade, which, you know, went above some people's heads, but it may be, you know, the stepping stone into the right direction, bro, into the right direction. And also, the state of New York. Both New York teams recently have been failing to, you know, compete on the national stage. And... Each team has the chance to, you know, become the top team in New York. But first, what we're going to do is, you know, create our coach, man. Our coach. Coach McGruff, you already know what time it is. We're going to, you know, make him a team builder coach, you know, with a backstory. So we can get that XP, you know, from players that earn their goals and all that good stuff. So we're going to build this team for the ground up. It's going to be mostly draft focused, you know, with fictional draft players. We're not going to really dip and dive into the free agency to get all those big time names, you know, because it's going to make things too easy for us. So first here, we're going to pick out the body type for Coach McGruff. Um, I'm thinking about the muscular body type, maybe the base. Uh, we probably will go with... Probably the base, man. Probably the base. It don't look too crazy. And skin tone, we're going to hit it right there. That that's kind of resembles Coach McGruff. Coach McGruff from the collegiate era and also in the NFL. So face, we're going to try to figure out a good face of Coach McGruff. The face tools look pretty good. But what type of gear should we rock right now? We're going to look to rock maybe a sweater, a hoodie or something. The relaxed fit don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. You see your boy Coach McGruff over there pudging, eating pretty good out here. And so we're going to go with this right here, man. We're going to go back to the khakis, I believe. I think we're going to use these khakis. Yeah, the khakis look pretty nice with the black top. And I think we're ready to get it on. So let's, you know, figure out our offensive playbook. The New York Jets playbook I'm not very familiar with. So we're going to go with something a little different. Because we're going to give Coach McGruff a little, you know, different approach than what you guys are normally seeing. So... At, we may go with the Seattle Seahawks, Pete Carroll, the more collegiate base type offense. You know, running a little bit of read option or something. But I, I love the Seahawks defense, but I'm not too big on their offensive play. Um, the Bill Belichick offense may be, you know, our way to go right now since we don't have a quarterback with a big, big arm. Sam Darnold is a pretty decent young guy, and I believe, you know, he can dink and dunk it up and down the field. You know, with the best of them. The New Orleans offense may be pretty good, but a little bit too much. Drew Brees has an arm and Sam Darnold doesn't. So we're going to go with the Bill Belichick thing. And defensively, you already know we're going with the Legion of Boom. We're going with that Seattle defense. Headhunters, we got a pretty good, you know, defense. Not the greatest, but we have a nice linebacker and everything else. And we're going to roll with that. So first off, the settings here. The skill level, we're going to go with all pro. All pro for right now. Maybe we change it to Madden. Depends on how the game feels. I have played the most recent Madden. Maybe a little bit. Not much. But this year's Madden. We're going to get a feel on it to see if, you know, we're ready to move on to Madden. I may move on to Madden after maybe the first preseason game. Depends on how easy it actually is. So the instant starter, that's on. That's just for user players. We're not using any user players in here we're going to be controlling the whole team we're going to leave everything else the same the only thing we might boost up is the time because i want to get some what of realistic stats into this game so eight minutes is like the magic number for me so we're going to go with that there and let's get on into it baby you already know what time it is we got a little message here from the NFL beat reporter. she's going to check in with us before the preseason game but in this episode what we're going to do is you know, talk to a beat reporter and, you know, probably get to the field to see how, you know, our quarterback look in the offense and a little bit of practice and also see how the defense stands out. We're going to go over the depth chart here next. So let's see what she's talking about. She's talking about she's going to cover the Jets for the whole season and, you know, she'll be checking in with us. So we're going to have to finish our first preseason game. That's the first game day goal for us. So next, let's get into it, baby. We're going to check out you know, maybe our depth chart right here to see what we got going on. But look, also, we got a message here from one of our players talking to us about 
the development teaching us how to develop players how i never heard of a thing like that where a coach get taught by his player on how to develop how did he think i get the job coach mcgruff is a team builder if he don't know check out the Furman franchise we got here on the channel coach mcgruff been rebuilding teams for the longest or maybe that texas southern dynasty we've been doing this thing for a while so we're gonna see what he has to say and you know yeah he's talking about the things that we already know x factor which is new into the game and all that but hey i appreciate the advice but coach mcgruff got it from here young fella and now we're trying to see what you can do on the field besides trying to coach coach mcgruff let's get it so right now what we're about to do is get into the depth chart we're gonna see what we got you know, lining up against these these other teams we got one open spot in the roster we may need to fill that with one of the needs on our team so let's check out the depth chart so in our depth chart here our starting quarterback as you guys know is sam Darnold. he's a 74 overall the usc kid but I think he has a pretty good upside to him. We might stick with him. If he's not going to work out for us, we're going to be looking into the draft. But we automatically need a backup quarterback this year coming up into the draft. We're not trying to replace Sam right now. We can see that, you know, he's not a slow quarterback. Pretty quick with it. Acceleration is okay. And the short arm accuracy, like I say, is 87. His throwing power is only an 88. So he's no Pat Mahomes. But he can get it down there probably 30 yards with a good accuracy. And the... Uh, Medium arm accuracy is not too too great, not too bad. I've seen worse in the deep arm accuracy. So you won't see us probably throwing it deep unless we have someone real wide open. And we're going to just keep things very close, you know, in and out. Like I said, dinking and dunking, bro. That's what we're going to have to live with. And Trevor Simeon is our backup. Not the best backup to have, but we're going to rock with it. We're not adding anybody to this team because we want to see how you know sam donna does but if we get into a predicament where we have you know an injury or such we may go to look for a, a backup quarterback to help us out but when i hit the free agency only thing i'm looking for is young players i don't want any big time players or maybe a veteran or something I kind of wish Madden had the mentor feature like 2K has where you can pair a young player with an older player who can learn traits of the other player. I thought that was some of the best things I've seen in a franchise mode as of late and 2K did her thing on that. Maybe Madden need to take some, you know, take some pointers from 2K when they're doing these type of games, you know, every year or so. Because I would like to have Sam Darnold with a, you know, OG quarterback with, you know, certain traits that one quarterback doesn't have and help him build throughout the season now let's talk about our running backs bro our best running back on the team you already know Le'Veon Bell he does his thing man 92 overall this kid's speed is an 89 acceleration he can get out that gate quick with it man his agility 95 probably one of the best in the game so we're gonna lean on Le'Veon a lot this year to give us what we need at running back but we don't have a very bad backup running back we have Ty Montgomery right there. Ty is a pretty good player, you know, especially a third down back. He's he, he's almost a receiver, bro. He's almost a receiver at six foot, 216. He, he catches out of the backfield with the best of them. He does a pretty good job and everything else, you know, he can run between the tackles a little bit too, but we're going to try to get him to the edge more than often. And the fullback situation, you can see we don't have a fullback, so I guess that one roster spot that we do have will go to a fullback in the free agency. And our wide receiver core is not bad. It's not bad. Robbie Anderson is not a great player, but yeah, he might be on the up and up, bro. He might be on the up and up. 82 overall, 90 acceleration, 94 speed. Hey, we might have a potential deep threat here. And his catching in traffic is 82, but his normal catch is the best on our team with an 89. And our backup wide receiver, he's pretty okay, Jamison Crowder. He's going to be pretty good. He's a short guy, 5'9", so we may throw him into the slot roll if we can figure out how tall Anunyu, I don't know how to say his name, Anunwa. I don't know how to say it, but we might swap these two guys and put Jameson Crowder at the slot receiver to give us somebody to, you know, move around, wiggle, to, you know, play around in the middle like Amadola used to do or Elderman. And Herndon is our starting tight end. Our backup tight ends are not the greatest. But Herndon, he's an average tight end, so we're not going to complain. But one of our weakest spots on our team is our offensive line. The interior offensive line, the guards are pretty good, but our center sucks. The left tackle is not that good. And our right tackle kind of suck, man. So when we hit this draft, we're going to have to put a big emphasis on the offensive line. Because 
if you're going to win championships, if you're going to win, you know, any type of games in the NFL, it all starts up front. And I believe the past draft, the Jets did the right thing by, you know, putting attention on their defensive line. But I think it's time to focus on this offensive line, man. Offensive line. We can come into the draft with a top draft pick or just in the middle of the pack. I don't believe we're going to make it too far this year. But if we do, we're going to try to trade for some picks because... Our offensive line need the help, bro. I, we need the help. We need to develop players to become stars and do a lot of great things for us because we got a good running back. But Le'Veon may take a big, big beating this year if, you know, he has an offensive line that's not going to help protect him, uh, open holes for him to, you know, get through. And also Sam, man, I feel sorry for the young guy <laughs> playing behind his offensive line. He might learn a lot this year by, you know, investing in being friends with these guys than, you know, dis disengaging them. So on defense, you know our defensive line is it's okay, man. Pretty good. We have some pretty decent ends you know, on our defense, but that defense interior with Quinn and Williams, man, we're looking to see if this kid is going to win defensive rookie of the year. I believe he has the upside and the potential to become one of the best. Maybe the next Donald, man. He may be the next one. And C.J. Mosley, our middle linebacker, 87 overall, the kid from Alabama, one of the top linebackers in the NFL, in my opinion. And he's going to be pretty good for us. But in our secondary is where we struggle a little bit. Because our best cornerback may be a second or third screen cornerback on some of the best teams. And we, there are a lot of young guys in our secondary. But maybe we're going to have to, you know, try to focus on that in the draft also. And Marcus May, a young, I mean young free safety from Florida. He's, he's going to be pretty good. We got to keep these guys healthy. That's the main key. And Jamal Adams from LSU, those SEC guys at the safety position, another great player. Maybe one of the top safeties in the NFL. We're going to have to get this guy, you know, down in the box to help us out with the running defense and everything else. But now it's time, bro, to go get us somebody for that fullback position. Let's see what we got. So the top free agency right now is Eric Berry. 30-year-old guy, strong safety. We don't need any strong safety. A lot of these positions that are available for our team, even if we were to pick up one of these decent guys, we, we feel we good at those positions. Those top seven positions there, we are okay at. Someone may pick those guys up, but we're looking for a fullback. And you have Trey Madden with a 69 overall. He want 1.42. A 69 overall fullback versus a... You know, 61, which I think we may go with one of these guys. It's not a big difference. I believe the fullback gets left out in a lot of football games to where you can just put a 50 in there and you may get a decent couple of lead blocks because they're not very used. They're not used as much in a lot of offense because a lot of people run out of the gun. So we're going to sign this guy to a one-year deal. And when we hit that goal line, we're looking to, you know, help him develop a little bit. He may stick around a little longer than normal. Let's see what he wants after this year. We may resign him or something, you know, and let's get it, bro. So you can see us right here, man. Another good reason, man, we chose the Jets was those uniforms. Look at them. Looks good. A lot of people disagree with them, but, hey, I think they're the hardest. So we're going to get out here with Sam Darnold and, you know, get a little bit of reps in before our first preseason game and do our thing. So you can see he's always looking for a short route. He has a nice three-step drop. His pocket presence is, you know, pretty good for a one-year player, man. And the deep ball. Let's see how he does here, man. Look at it. He lost it, and it's a lot of it's a lot of air up under that thing. We can get a lot better at that because amidst the defense, that may be an interception, bro. And I like, like I said, his pocket's presence is there. He can find a wide out, but he has to get the ball down a little more because we cannot loft them things up in the NFL because safeties love to wait and sit on big plays like that. But we get his, his throwing power up a little bit. Maybe in the 90s, he should be pretty decent. And Le'Veon at running back. We're going to have to utilize him in the passing game a lot this year to help Sam. Coming out that backfield will help give Sam some confidence. And like I said, the wide receivers are not that bad. They run pretty good routes. We have some explosive guys. But like I said, we're going to have to lean on this running game, man. We're going to have to lean on that running game. So a good first practice for us. And we're going to, you know, check out the defensive side of the ball. I believe Sam confidence will grow as the season progresses. 
So on defense, like I said, we got the guy, CJ Mosley. I believe, yo, that guy, he does stink. You can see right there. And we don't need to hurt Le'Veon. I don't understand practice why we have our best players out there. But, hey, that's what they give us. So look at Le'Veon trying to find some room. And look at your boy, Quentin Williams there. We're going to see a lot of that kid, Quentin Williams. Baby. We might call him Q, man, Q-Dub. We're going to holler at him as Q-Dub from, from here on out. And look at Le'Veon. Going in, we got hits on him, bro. We're going to have hits on him. It's a lot of great defensive play that we're going to have here this year. It's going to be our strong point along with our running game. We're going to have to send blitzes from the linebacker position and do what we have to do. So after completing a solid practice, Coach McGruff is going to get this team ready for it, the first preseason game. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to play the preseason game to see if all pro helps out for us and if we're going to have to change the man because I want the first game play to be at least pretty competitive. And I'll give you guys updates on what happened in our first preseason game, but we will, you know, make a video for the second preseason game. We may do two preseason games or most likely one, but you guys let me know in the comments if y'all want to see two preseason games or one and we'll move from there. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video. You know what to do. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. And holla at your boy, MG fam.